So the hit list is a brand new event in Black Ops 6 which rewards you some unique items, mainly in regards to your own progression, a loading screen, a calling card, an emblem, a weapon charm and a melee weapon called the power drill which is quite fun to use. In this video I bring you the fastest way to unlock all of these using a couple of glitches you can take advantage of. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and now I am giving away 5 thousand card points now to win it's as simple as this drop a like on this video leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on uh, i will pick winners from the comments section and announce them at the end of the week this sunday so good luck to everybody who enters so the hit list event ends in like 12 days and to unlock said items you need to accumulate 1000 eliminations. Now depending on the game mode you are playing, the eliminations will obviously count more towards your total. So Warzone per single kill you get, you'll get 5 towards that 1000 mark. Uh, multiplayer you'll get 1 for 1 and zombies you'll get 1 for every 5 zombies killed. And this is where I believe you can get this done quickest, in zombies. Now I unlocked everything here in about an hour, an hour and a half, abusing a glitch anyone can do which is super super easy and I think most people already know about. But you can even do this quicker if you have a team or you're capable of split screen. So if you guys want to unlock that power drill and do it ASAP, the following will help you do so. So like I said there are plenty of glitches you can use within zombies which will allow you to do this and do it quick. The one I'm talking about allowed me to do it like I said in under an hour and a half. And it's something anyone can do, it's a solo glitch which will take you about 10 minutes to set up. It allows you to just kill zombies over and over at a level 10 or a round 10 level zombie if that even counts, I think it does. Well they ain't hard to defeat anyway and you basically just let them all gather up, you take them all out in about 5 seconds and repeat the process and it's so so easy like I said, the zombies will even ignore you so you can repeat this over and over and get this done. Minimal effort is required, you don't really need to pack a punch your weapon to a max either, you don't need any body armor you don't need anything like that a pack a punch level one would do just fine so yeah you'll also at the same time earn a ton of xp towards your level your weapon that you're using and even the battle pass so this takes place in zombies like i said and you want to select that directed mode you then want to make sure you have the weapon on which you can take out enemies with ease with or if you want to level up a weapon in doing this use that weapon make sure you're also playing solo in the game make sure you're in that directed mode and then load into that terminus mission you then guys want to progress this mission up to a point where you have to use the triangulation values to solve the equation but here you actually don't want to solve anything it's at this point people uh, you should be up to around 10 here the level is capped at around well the game here is capped at around 10 zombies so no matter what you do if you don't progress past this point zombies will keep spawning in but there will be around 10 equivalent difficulty which ain't hard at all ain't difficult at all so from start to finish, when you start the Terminus mission, you first have to activate and protect the AMP generators. The third brings you down to this section of the map right here guys, where upon you protecting that generator, you then have to trigger the lift. Upon you triggering this lift people, your next uh, objective is to buy the dead wire perk for your weapon, then ride the elevator, shooting the electrical panels which are marked on your map, pretty straightforward to find. Also on that lift is that pack a punch which is in real close proximity to where we actually abuse this uh, XP farm. So yes, you can farm and level up your weapon with this Pack-A-Punch machine to make taking out these zombies even easier as you progress with it. So upon you shooting those electrical panels guys, you next have to retrieve the EMF fab from the Doctor. So once you've done that, you then have to retrieve the contents of the Doctor's briefcase. Upon doing this, you then have to return the resonator to the research lab. The next objective is where you can abuse his XP farm. So here you have to activate the harmonic triangulators. Now at this point guys, your round should be capped at a 10. It doesn't matter if they ain't, but 10 is a max level you can do this at because again, it's capped in that directed mode. Hence why the zombies never get any harder. 
also around this area like I said is that pack a punch machine which is on the lift you rolled up here as well as most other devices you need but to be honest you won't need them so from this point guys run to this machine directed on screen where your objective will state to use the triangulation values to solve the equations so when you are interacting with this machine people the zombies spawn in and completely ignore you then pile up behind you outside of this room when that last zombie runs past you simply run out behind them and take them all out then guys run back to the machine interact with it don't try and solve it obviously you don't want to progress past this point after about 10 seconds the zombies will respawn back in again upon that last zombie running past you you can simply just rinse and repeat this over and over and over and you get either bored of leveling up your weapon or got what you come here for it really is as simple as that guys so once you've set this up guys everything you need will be within this area the ammo box the pack a punch machine literally everything and because you are doing this at a point and not progressing that directed mode the zombies will keep spawning in but will always stick to being a level 10 difficulty zombie so yeah it's as simple as running up to this computer guys sitting at the screen for about 30 seconds all the zombies will then spawn in and pile up behind you outside of this room you simply then guys when that last zombies run past you come out of the machine and wipe them all out once you've done this run back to that machine wait rinse and repeat heat and you'll be able to get this done in no time at all if you're leveling up a weapon or your own level or the battle pass and you have those double xp tokens you may as well use them at this point because you will be getting a ton of xp doing this now like i said i did this it literally took me about an hour an hour and a half max and i got all 1000 eliminations which is basically 5,000 zombies which ain't hard at all considering how quick they do spawn in and how quick you do wipe them out now there is another amazing zombies glitch known as a zombie butt lobby glitch which is even more wild i mean you could probably half the time in doing this solo method uh, this does however require you to have a team or at least be able to split screen now this isn't a glitch I've covered myself but thanks to my pal gaming exploits who's already posted a great tutorial on how you set this up. Um, it should be something you can do quite easily like I said if you meet the criteria of having a team or you're able to split screen. I'll link the video in the video description if you do want to check out the full tutorial but either or guys both of these glitches will allow you to finish this event the hit list event in no time whatsoever. So yes, do what you gotta do, people. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.